Love participates in the soul itself. It is of the same nature. Like it, it is the divine spark. It is a point of fire that exists within us, which is immortal and infinite, which nothing can confine and which nothing can extinguish. We feel it burning even to the very marrow of our bones and we see it beaming in the very heights of heaven. What a grand thing it is to be loved. What a far grander thing it is to love. In this, our future belongs to our hearts even more than it does to our minds. Love, that is the only thing that can occupy and fill eternity. I am an only child, but I like to think of Ainsley as my little sister, even though sometimes she is wise beyond her years. I know without a doubt we will be there for each other, through good or bad, and the times we have laughed and cried on each other's shoulders will not be the last. I look forward to spending many years with our families close. I don't know what I would have done without you these years that have passed. Today I am very honoured to be by your side as your maid of honour and couldn't think of anyone better to now share my name. Congratulations and officially I would like to say welcome to the family, Mrs Oates. Caden. You were the boy I fell in love with, but now you are the man I cannot live without. I can only promise to try my best at investing time, love and care into this marriage. To constantly work to make it better. To share, cherish and remember all the good times. And to ensure I stand by your side in all the bad. I love you when we are together and when we are apart. I promise to support your dreams and respect our differences. And to love you and be by your side through all the days and nights of our lives. and give you time to make our dreams come true. I vow to never forget that you are my one and only, my best kept secret, my forever and always, the man I live for, dream with and love. I have known Caden, well, his whole life. From here, he would proceed to talk Ainsley's head off about the specs, the dimensions, all the stuff Ainsley doesn't know about the tools probably. But in all seriousness, I would like to say how proud I am of you, Caden. You've done extremely well. My only word of advice is to enjoy life, have fun, treasure every second, because time passes <coughs> the speed of life. Ainsley, I'm happy that we are forever growing together as the years to come by. I hope that never changes. The last six years with you have been a blast all the experience we have shared. You're so beautiful and I'm lucky to have you by my side. I know that we, wherever you are, you're most brought home. I actually cannot believe we are here. I am so grateful for the life you've given me and I am so proud of you. And where we are, I cannot wait to see what the future holds and I'm looking forward to sharing every minute of it with you.